Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to Hack My Growth. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the importance of redirecting old URLs to the new correct URL. Thanks so much for watching this video. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button below. We would love to have you as part of our community. So we're talking about redirects and this is what we do when maybe we've changed a URL or maybe we've updated a page and we no longer need a, an old page on our website. So we're gonna need to redirect that to a new position or tell at least the search engines, the crawlers, as well as the users on our site where that new content can be found. Now this is a little bit more in the technical SEO aspect, so now we're gonna jump into a slide deck to go a little bit deeper into everything I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, let's talk about how and why to redirect a URL. So what is a redirect? Redirects are typically used to indicate that content's moved from one URL to another. So let's say you wanted to optimize your URL string for search. So you've, you've changed the way your URL structure is. Maybe it's the same content, but you've changed the path of that structure. So maybe the old structure was your site, you know, forward slash old dash content, HTML. And now you've moved that to a keyword optimized page. And now that keyword is, is behind there as the URL string. Well, you need to redirect that link, that old link to the new link. So why do we use redirects? They're essential in really letting the search engines know that you've moved your content. See, even if you moved content, the old URL string and the content will still live within that index. And that page can still show up in the search results even if you don't want it to anymore. So what you wanna do is redirect that content and that will help the, the search engines know that, that that old content has moved to a new place and that the new place should take um, the primary spot in the index and it actually will eventually help the, the search engines to remove the old content and completely replace it and redirects really help speed up this process it can happen on its own but if you do a redirect it's going to speed up that process quite a bit so when should you be using a redirect well if you have old content maybe it's expired right you ran a contest and that's no longer valid and now you need to move that 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 url or, or push that url to a new page uh, maybe you find that you've had a broken link on your website uh, that's getting links and getting traffic. Well, if there's nothing there, you're going to want to make sure that you redirect that to a page that's actually going to be user-friendly and has content for the search engines to crawl. Uh, maybe you've changed your host or your content management system, also known as a CMS. Uh, maybe you want to implement a canonical redirect. So maybe you've got pages that are similar, but you want to say, hey, this is the primary page. This is the canonical page. You would use a redirect for that. You also want to use it when you change the URL where the existing content is found, which is what we discussed in the example on the slide before. So let's look at this expired content. This is a page that's still live. You can find it in the search results. It's about the 2006 World Yo-Yo Contest. Obviously, this is not valid content anymore. This is this is about 11 years old, you know, and uh, or more than that now, right? 12 years old. Um, the live event stream. None of this is relevant. So the right thing to do. Uh, would probably be to take this whole domain and push it to whatever the 2018 World Yo-Yo Contest is uh, because this page is no longer valid whatsoever. So this would be a good example of a page that needs to be redirected. Maybe you have a broken link. One of my favorite tools for this is ARES, their, their broken link tool. Uh, maybe you've got backlinks. Here's a, just, uh, do you see Toy the Rust? They've got a lot of pages that are, that are pulling up as 404. So these are pages that aren't found, but people are linking to them. So they're actually losing some really high quality domains. Like you see like Politico even linked to them. Well, they're not getting the link equity from that link because it's going to a 404. So they're missing out on some really big opportunities. So what, what Toys R Us should be doing is scanning their backlinks, finding that those broken backlinks, and then taking that link that's, that's wrong and having it direct to a link that is correct. That way they actually get the, the, the backlink equity from the links that are pointing to their site. As you can see, there's a number one number of them here uh, that are very high quality, and this happens a lot. Maybe you've moved content and moved site around. You have pages that are 404 and it's actually, you're losing a lot of the link equity that you, you may have built or acquired on those pages that are no longer valid. Maybe you've changed your CMS. You know, Maybe you were building a site that was a static site with HTML, and now you're deciding to go to WordPress, and maybe you know all of your domains have you know, a .html at the end, but now they don't anymore. This is another great example in where you should be using uh, a redirect to make sure that those sites are, those pages, those URLs are being redirected to the right place. When we talk about canonical URL, you know, maybe you've got sites that are common, 
uh, maybe they're they're like minded pages, you know, but they're getting links, you know, and they're driving traffic, but they're not really the page that's the one you want to rank for. That's your primary page. Well, you would use a 301 redirect, and we'll talk about that here in a second to make sure that that main page gets the canonical link and it's seen as the main page or the right page to show up in the index. Maybe you've changed your URL structure, and this is uh, looking at quick direct, uh, redirects, 301 redirects for WordPress. Um, what you do is you have the old one and you have the new one and you push uh, the, the, the old URL to the new URL to make sure that it's being redirected um, the right way and that the traffic from the old URL no longer goes there because that will now be dead and have a 404 and now it will go to the right page. So there are a couple of different types of redirects and we're going to talk about the two prominent kinds and they're not created equal. While the user may not know the difference between you know, a 301 or a 302, they won't really see it. Um, there is a very big difference when it comes to the search engines. So the two main types of redirects are 301s and 302s. So a 301 redirect is known as a permanent redirect. And this tells the browser that the content has been permanently removed and put on a new URL. And when you use a 301 redirect, it passes all of the link equity, all the link authority and trust of the old link to the new link. Uh, and will actually eventually replace the old URL in the index. So this is the one that we want to primarily use when we're, when we're really changing pages on our site and we want to make sure that we get all of the SEO benefits. The other type of redirect is called a 302. And this tells the search engine that the content is temporarily moved. It assumed that maybe the page will eventually be reinstated. And because of that, it's saying don't pass the link authority to the new page. And the old link will still stay in the index. So when you use a 302 redirect, you're not getting the SEO benefits because you're not getting any of the link equity passing to the new URL. As I said, the best for SEO is a 301 redirect. So let's say you spent a lot of time and you, you built a lot of equity and links behind this one old page. And you want to make sure that when you redirect it, maybe you're optimizing the URL that you use uh, a 301. Because if you don't, all that work you did for that page won't matter. Because if you use a 302, none of that equity is going to pass. And that new page will just be like a brand new page on your website. And you'll have to start all over again from square one. Now, you could go back and change it. So if you've done a 302, it's okay. Don't, don't, don't worry too much. You can go back and change that. But make sure if you have those, you want to look at why you have those. And there's only certain purposes for using 302s. And that's if you know you're going to have that set page up again. Otherwise, make sure that you're using the 301. So how do we correctly redirect a URL? Now, there's a lot of different ways to approach this. Uh, and we're going to talk about a couple. And I'm going to share four here, but we're only going to talk about two because two of them really, um, one of them is very technical and the other one really breaks the rule that we talked about before. Uh, the first way is using the HD access file. Uh, the HD access file is, is a configuration file on an Apache server that really tells how the website is supposed to be run, uh, what's kind of going on with the files on that server. You can also use page level redirects. Now the problem with the page level redirect, it uses 301, 302 redirects only. So don't recommend using 302 uh, page level redirects if you really want to move the content to where it should be. You can also use uh, mod rewrite uh, with, with Apache, and then there's another way to do it with Microsoft. I'm not a Microsoft guy. I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm a Microsoft guy. So uh, this is a very technical way to do redirects, and we're not gonna get into that in this video because I wanna give actionable insights that you guys can, can, give, can use. And the last way is through your CMS. There's a lot of CMSs now that help you do redirects a lot more efficiently uh, to where it's not so tech heavy and can be done with, with relative ease. So using your HD access file, um, again, it's, it's a file on the Apache server, it's a configuration file. Be very careful if you're gonna use this uh, for doing your redirects. And if you've never used an HD access file, never been involved in an HD access file, never seen one, most of the times you don't see them because they're often hidden if you're, you're, you're FTPing in because these files are so important. So be careful if you've never done it before, you can easily break a website. <laughs> if you change something or delete something that shouldn't be changed or put a period in the wrong place, your whole site can go down. Um, I know that from experience. <laughs> but what you do here is if you've got a, a single URL redirect, you wanna use a 301. So as it shows right here, this is exactly what you would type into the HD access file. 
redirect 301 forward slash old page uh, and then you would put the new page in right next to it uh, if you want to do an entire domain you can do that on the old domain server you know maybe you're moving a whole old domain to a new domain you want to access the HTS access file on that page and then you can just add the code as shown right here uh, there's a number of resources online there's a number of you know places you can go and just copy and paste this stuff right in and just change out your your domain information um, but this is an easy way to do it it's it's a good way to do it it's a clean way to do it but again if you don't have a lot of access or, or experience with HD access files I don't recommend touching them the easier way is to use your CMS now we use a lot of WordPress um, to, for our sites we also build sites on HubSpot we've built static sites as well but for the sites on WordPress, these are four plugins that are that are good plugins that really help and uh, help you do this in, with relative ease. The one I showed before in the screenshot was Quick, quick Page Post. Um, there's also simple 301 redirects. There's a plugin called Redirection, and then there's another one called 404 to 301. So let's say you may have a lot of 404s, but you don't really know what they are. You don't really know how to find them, but you want to make sure that all your 404s redirect to a certain page. You can actually install this plugin. And you can have all your broken links like point to your home page. Um, it's, it's an easy way to fix all your 404 errors. Now, if you're using HubSpot, they actually auto redirects the old URL to the new URL. So this is a really helpful and easy way to approach this where you change your URL, and it's already taken care of for you. And they use a 301 redirect. A lot of CMSs are moving in that direction as well. So let's recap. We use redirects to point old URLs to new URLs. And this is helpful because you wanna make sure that people can find your content in the right place. But more importantly, you wanna know that the search engines know that your content's moved and where the correct place is to find your content. This is a technical part of SEO, but it's an extremely important part. And there's a lot of people that don't do this correctly and they lose a lot of the work that they put in. So make sure that you're using 301 redirects and only 301 redirects are going to pass link authority of the old page to the new page. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please uh, comment below. We would love to help you out. Love to point you in the right direction. Until next time, happy marketing.